So as you guys can see, all the trusses get hauled to the job site without any paint. And when they get to the job site, before they put them up, they paint the trusses. Uh, what they're gonna do is they're gonna leave about a foot or two on the ends without any paint, is, and that's where they're going to weld. Uh, to the pipe, once it's welded to the pipe, they paint the pipes and the entire framework. So on our barn aluminiums, the entire framework is painted. Uh, this is, well, I say painted, it's gonna be primed. Uh, this is a red oxide primer that they're using. And uh, this is brand new pipe. So all they have to do is put it on there. So they're using a paint glove to put the paint on them. And that seems to be the most efficient way, as you can see. We have tried spraying, we have tried it all, but this works the best. All right, so as you guys can see, we are starting another barn aluminum. I'm gonna go over here, kind of show you what these guys are doing. Uh, kind of give you a quick rundown of how these barn aluminums are put up, or at least the framework. Uh, as you can see, we use a four and a half inch pipe. Again, these are all brand new pipe. My goodness, it's windy. brand new pipe and uh, schedule 40 so very thick pipe so the reason we don't use I-beam is because these pipes will fit inside the wall and we don't have to do anything special to hide them so once we complete the walls on the inside it'll look like nothing ever happened the pipes are in the wall no problem if we did I-beam or anything like that uh, that's a whole different ball game it becomes a whole lot harder to hide them there's Pedro right there WDMB So they also have a YouTube channel. I'm gonna put a link on my video so that you guys can see. These guys are getting ready for that truss that those guys are painting over there. So, uh, I mean, these guys, they've been at it for a long time, so they know what to do. Those guys back there, I don't know if you can see them, but those guys back there that are painting the truss are gonna come and they're gonna hang the truss right here where I'm at. These guys are getting ready. By the time those guys are ready with that truss, these guys will be ready with the pipes. Uh, you know, they're gonna saddle the pipe and they're actually gonna set the truss inside the pipe. Uh, it'll mechanically lock it in place and then they weld it. So uh, it really doesn't get any better than that. So right now what he's doing is cutting the pipe to the correct height. Because what they do is when they put them in, they leave them slightly high. First thing he's gonna do is make it even with the other pipes. And then he's gonna cut that saddle that I was talking to you about. Uh, one side they cut a hole, and the other side they cut a saddle. There you go, he's gonna cut the hole. All right, now he's gonna test fit a uh, small piece to make sure it fits inside the hole. Because if it's not gonna fit, he wants to make sure he knows that before the pipe shows up. All right, let's see, moment of truth. Oh, there it is, it fit, so. All right, now on this side, he's doing the same thing, except he's gonna make a saddle. There it is. So he just put a test piece on there to make sure it would fit. Okay. Again, I don't have Daniel with me today, so this is gonna be a little shaky, a little kind of Blair Witch Project <laughs> look-alike. So I just wanna make sure I showed you how they hang these trusses. All right, so now they're getting pretty close. So what they're going to do is this guy is gonna stab his hand first in the hole. And now you, you're gonna understand why ah. one guy has a hole, one guy has a notch. There it is. It went in. Now the other guy over here, he's gonna drop it in the notch. There it goes. There it went. So, as you can see, it's pretty much already mechanically locked in place, but now they're gonna weld it. So as you can see, that guy over there is making sure it's level. And 
and while he's making sure it's level, this guy's tacking the other side. So now that this guy got a good enough tack on it, the other guy's gonna start welding. In the meantime, these guys are gonna start taking that hook off, as you can see right there, and they're gonna go start painting another one. You guys can see they are pretty well synchronized to where there's pretty much somebody always doing something and that's how they can get things done. So they also have their lifts, their Genie's uh, GS1930. As you can see, they're using two of them and they have another one on the trailer as a spare. They're using their Miller welder. They are using, let me see what they're using. So as you can see, there's two guys welding right now at the same time. So they're using a uh, Miller Pipe Pro 304. Miller CST 280 and uh, that's how they can run two leads at the same time but you know you're wondering well what happens if that welder fails then they're both down right how can they put all their eggs in one basket right if that welder goes down this, these guys are just toast right I know that's what you're thinking well no that's not what happens. The other trailer, they have a backup. They have a backup Pipe Pro, and they also have the CST 280. So everything's here. They have their uh, fire extinguishers, leaf blowers, so they can kind of blow their stuff off the concrete when they're doing on the roof, when they're putting the screws on the uh, panels. They blow the shavings off. So, pretty well prepared. Uh, like I said, they started today, and this barn, though, uh, I'm gonna give them two weeks. They'll have it ready for us to frame. So, again, these guys are super efficient. Again, WD Metal Buildings, uh, go, go to their channel, go to their Instagram, help these guys out. They do awesome work. On the porch, we're gonna use four, uh, four inch square tubing. That's what we use on the porches. And uh, of course, like I said, four and a half inch pipe on the barn door itself. Now, here's another thing I want you to look at. You know, there's a pipe right there. There's another one here. There's another one there. Another one here. One more and one more. That's how many trusses we have on this barn dominium. Our homes are designed to be a home from the ground up, so we put a lot more steel than we would put on a regular metal building. These structures are not meant to be a metal building. They are meant to be a home. So obviously, we're going to build it stronger. So I'm standing on the front porch right now, and this is the view they're going to have. I can honestly say, it doesn't suck. All right, well, that's all I got for today. Uh, like I said, I just swung by here to take, take a look, see how you guys are doing on the framework. And uh, as you guys can see, they're doing really good. So. Anyway, uh, we'll see you next time. I'm Eric, and we are Texas Barnuminiums.